Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. Delta Airline is saying if you work for us and you you take the vaccine, we're hitting your ass with a two hundred dollar a month surcharge. Uh, see, in November, all unvaccinated employees of Delta are going to pay the company two hundred bucks a month. CEO Ed Bastian is also requiring all unvaccinated employees to wear masks and submit to weekly testing. He claims the average stay of a COVID patient is forty thousand dollars, and the vaccine will help uh, will lower financial and health risk uh, for all employees. Uh, Scott. Well, what do you make of Delta saying, y'all don't want to get vaccinated? Show us the money. Yeah, that's true. And uh, I agree with it. But th- you're going to see a variation of this in big business. The big law firms are requiring vaccinations right now. They don't get as much uh, PR on this. But these folks and their employment and labor lawyers in these big law firms have even hired consultants to advise them. Ultimately, you're going to be have to be vaccinated to come into the office, at least right now you are. And ultimately, they are going to have to figure out what this workforce looks like, whether it's, uh, um, whether it's at home or in the office or some combination of that. But with the Delta variant, it's really going to be about how strong and how negative, what the negative impact is on the Delta variant between now and September it's going to dictate whether uh, folks open up their offices, at least this business offices, uh, by January. And so all of this is kind of in flux. But Delta is a business leader, Fortune 500 company. Watch the other airlines and those non-airline companies uh, try to follow their lead or some variation of that lead. Because we've got to define the new normal. And we keep vacillating and we keep testing and we keep trying to do the right thing. But this variant doesn't really care about business or the color of our skin or how we operate or sports or anything that's really important to us, at least in the human condition. And so look for other companies to do that, what Delta's done, or variation of it. More to come. Uh, Kelly, I ain't got a problem with it. I ain't got no problem at all with Delta. If these folks want to sit here and run their ass around and vaccinated, hit them in their pocketbooks. And so I, all the other people talk about, oh, no, uh, it's your right, it's your freedom. What he's really saying is, guess what? You unvaccinated and you get sick and then the insurance company got to pay that money. You also can cause insurance premiums to go up for other workers. Exactly. But not. No, I mean, I don't have a problem with it either. I think in the article it said each uh, employee of Delta that uh, contracted COVID um, not only was unvaccinated, but it cost the company 40 k per person to get them treated through their insurance policies and whatnot. So this is a smart money move, but it's also just a public health move. I mean, you're talking yeah. about people who are up under other people every day. Why would you not want to protect yourself with, you know, viable solutions? Not talking about the stuff that you shoot up horses with, not talking about Clorox like the last president said, an actual vaccine that has proven results that is backed by science for you to not die from a disease. Like it is not that hard of a decision to make. And the fact that corporations are are not necessarily making the decision for you because you have the choice whether you can work there or not, you know. But the fact that corporations are taking the initiative to actually protect you, um, one, it's refreshing, but two, it, it, it just needs to be done because the fact yeah. that people are still out there saying, you know, God knows what, you know, just to not get the vaccine is absolutely ridiculous. And at this point, you might as well be a bioweb. Yeah, but Roland, real quick, let me tell you what else is at work here. If you have been been unvaccinated and you have have COVID or been exposed to COVID and you're in the workspace, right, it costs a minimum of $10,000 for that company to to clean your area, to uh, sterilize your area, whatever you call it, uh, per person, per office, or per location. And so there's an economic issue here that they're not talking about. But I've certainly advised clients in my law practice on some of these issues. And it is an expensive process to clean up and sterilize that workspace and that 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 office space uh, if you're exposed because you haven't been vaccinated or even if you have and you've been exposed to COVID or you have COVID, asymptomatic or not. There's a real cost, hard cost there for these businesses. 
And I even Bottom line, this. Brianna, if these, if, 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 if Brianna, if these hard-headed folks uh, want to stay hard-headed, the companies are saying, fine, y'all go work somewhere else. Yeah, I would, I would take it um, one step further because I'm for it. Um, charge them if they don't want to get vaccinated. It's, it's, we need it. Um, but I think that the issue that I have in it is that I know that there's people who are selling fake um, vaccination cards and people who are buying it. So I, not only is it, do I. What I like to see companies encourage the vaccinations to occur and seeing the vaccination cards, but have those um, frequent tests for um, their employees and making sure that they're they're not coming to work sick, um, that they're still wearing masks, that they are properly cleaning. Um, you know, I think that um, you know we just just because we're now getting vaccinated, um, I think we should still upkeep. Um, the standards of cleaning. Um, I really like that we have started to learn how to clean more our public spaces. Um, and I just don't want us to get comfortable um, not only saying, yes, we need to get vaccinated, but we need to get vaccinated and still do these other things, wear a mask, um, clean our spaces, get tested very frequently. Um, it's just not, you know, get vaccinated and show us your card and then we're all good. Well, here's the deal. I, I think the way companies can can confront that whole deal is say these are company approved vaccination locations or what major companies like Delta should do is say we're going to have vaccination days at the office. And so that way, you know, for a fact that it's actually happening, you know, for a fact, that if, if it's Moderna or Pfizer, they got to get two shots. And so you're, you know, for sure, exactly uh, that, that, that those cars are real. I think that's one of the things that you're going to actually see happen uh, uh, coming up. And that is, do you have these, cert these certified uh, locations to be able to sort of control the fraud? Yeah, I, I like yeah, that well, idea. I agree, but, um, you know, Delta is in a different space, too. Remember, they're part of the tourism industry. They're on the front line with these employees, whether they're pilots or ticket folks or they're in the executive branch. Uh, every one of them is vitally important to the business model and the business bottom line. There's a financial incentive for them to take really hard line positions once they get behind a vaccination program or they're charging people if they're not vaccinated. So don't don't forget this is a, a business financial decision uh, for Delta. And you're going to see other airlines either follow with some variation or not and other big businesses. Football bands and one of the best fan experiences in the country. The Cricket BX Whack Challenge kickoff returns to Atlanta on August 28th along with special guests. College game day. Then Alcorn State takes on North Carolina Central with conference bragging rights on the line. Center Park Stadium is the place to be on August 28th. Come tailgate all day before enjoying a primetime matchup on the gridiron. You don't want to miss this. Check out MeaxWackChallenge.com for more information. And, of course, folks, join Roller Martin Unfiltered in Atlanta Friday and Saturday for the SWAC MEAC Challenge. Friday, we'll be broadcasting live with the Atlanta Braves baseball game. We'll be hearing from the commissioners of the SWAC and MEAC, plus school presidents and other great guests. On Saturday, we'll be from the Coca-Cola Fan Zone at the stadium where the game is taking place. We'll be broadcasting live. Some great uh, things going on. Tig is going to be spinning. they got some chefs out there with the Coca-Cola Kitchen. We're going to have some phenomenal stuff for you. Plus, we'll be live streaming the halftime show and the concert after the game. Check out Roland Martin Unfiltered on Friday and Saturday. And we thanks all of this in partnership with Coca-Cola, the Swag Meg Challenge. We'll see you all there.